The Quakers welcome Chester to Blackwell Meadows this afternoon for what is a fourth meeting of the season between the two sides. After two FA Cup matches and a 2-2 draw at the Diva last time out when Chester scored twice late on to snatch a point. Junior Mondal has scored six goals in six games on a loan spell at Mask and he is recalled today straight into the starting lineup for a side that hasn't scored or won in four. And Alan Armstrong will be hoping he brings that form back with him as Tyrone O'Neill drops to the bench. For the visitors, it's an unchanged 16, both the starting lineup and bench unchanged after a 5 0 win against Southport last weekend. Lambert stayed out on the left hand side and collects that from Smith. Looks like 4 4 2 for Darling today. Cassidy and Mondal up front, which is probably what you would expect. Aye. Hatfield loses that one under pressure one. from Weeks in the centre circle. And Stevenson tries to send Weeks away, but he hadn't read it. And Ellis well, can Danny. collect and clear. Rivers with it now for Darlington, plays it to Hatfield, Hatfield short to Cassidy, out to the right hand side for Hatfield and he's found a ball to Lambert on the right hand side, he gets bought down, another chance to deliver a threatening ball into the box, Rose and Lambert are over that. Rose leaves it for Lambert to deliver. Going to drop on the penalty spot where Ellis will get the header, but can't get the can't get the direction on it. Uh, Finish blue masks many Chester there. Hard to say with without real official segregation in place. The open end is quite well populated, um, and that is usually where the away fans will gather. So it's it's possible that we've got a a, a few away fans in today. Lambert collects the ball, nifty little back heel to Smith. He plays it in first time, left footed. It's charged down and he heads on the uh, clearance. Mondal flicks it over into the area, but no Dalo player can get a header on that one. Rose picks it up about 25 yards out, plays it to Hatfield. He has a shot, left footed. Didn't really catch it cleanly. It was getting away from him a little, and it's over the bar. Just over nine, no, just under nine minutes gone, sorry. Here on Dalo Fans Radio, currently Darlington nil, Chester nil. But promising start we've yeah. mostly had our next crane to the left so far yeah no uh, Chester haven't really got into, we haven't really allowed Chester to get into the game at the minute obviously we've got to take our chances when we get them mm. that's for certain because we don't want to come bite us back like bite yeah. us back but many a time we control the game without taking advantage of that and then we're sucker punched at the end look exactly. at what happens I mean I wouldn't say we controlled it necessarily but look at what happened last weekend when you look at the highlights and it's mostly Darlo up until the point guys to get their goal three minutes from time as they come as Chester come forward now with Rowan Roach has played it inside ball out to the edge of the area that's just a little too far ahead of Apto but he manages to get past Smith anyway gets the uh, I thought it was a shot but it's turned into a cross Roach trying to shoot on the turn Weeks has it now on the edge of the area he fires it over and that's probably the closest Chester have had to a chance so far yeah but it's just literally what you've just been saying though isn't it we've been on top mm. for the last nine minutes and then a couple of bounces here and there and then they get the chance away it's, yeah. it's on another day that might go in you know I think it's uh, Apter who has the ball in his hands, throws it in. Hatfield and Rose between them, putting the pressure on, and the Chester player is, it is Apter, in fact, to stay down, but the ball's run loose. Chance for a shot, saved by Taylor. Loose ball, and Chester lead. Just trying to see who that is, I think it's Dakers. Chester goal, score by number 20, Marcus Dakers. There's your confirmation. Shot from, I think it was Declan Weeks, first of all. Tommy Taylor palms it away. And Dakers runs through. Appeals for offside, not given. And Marcus Dakers finishes it off. Only player in the box. The Darlow defence hadn't followed it in. And the visitors lead. Darlington nil, Chester one. Yeah, uh, exactly. Turn that one up for us. Literally. They just, all, all they've been kept to is shots from range. Tommy's done well to make the save as it's bounced in front of him. And then just, yeah. No one seemed to be allowed to get onto the onto the rebound of it apart from Dakar, so. 495 listeners in the Mixler chat and it's very clear which ones are the happier ones. So just another throw in a couple of yards further forward, finds the skipper, Hatfield volleys that one up the right hand side first time. For Cassidy to chase and he has managed to get to it ahead of Williams, plays He's it into the area well, and we have ourselves you. a goal! Darling have equalised. And guess who it is? Junior Mondal. It's a great finish from him, by the way. Uh, 
So, for the first time in, and I'm going to have to do some maths here. What's 374 plus 22? 396 minutes. The Quakers have found the back of the net, and it's a man who'd already scored six in six games. He's come back today. He's found an equaliser. Junior Mondal makes it 1 1. Cass has done brilliant as well, by yeah. the way, to get the ball back into the box. Like I say, he's put himself about, he shifted the kid off the ball, and then just played it in. And Junior's came on the end of it and dinked it over the keeper as he's rushed out. I'll have to give my slightly surprised reaction to seeing the ball in the back of the net there because A, it hasn't happened for a while and B, I was looking down at my notes for something when the ball's kind of dropped to Mondal <laughs> and put it away. But uh, yeah, we have scored a goal. This is not a drill. And the ball finds its way back to the Darlow keeper who rolls it out to Danny Ellis. And the number 12 brings it forward out to the right-hand side for Headley. Headley inside for Hatfield. He's under pressure from Weeks, but manages to slide the ball away. Only as far as a Chester player, though. Neat little ball around the corner from Dackers. Weeks has it. Shoots. Taylor has to tip that over. Good effort, that, by Declan Weeks. Ah, they certainly seem to like a shot from outside the box, mm. don't they? They do. Taylor equal to that one. Watched it all the way. And I think it might just have been going over the bar anyway, or maybe coming back from it, but... Taylor makes it absolutely certain. Just gets his fingers to it and knocks it over the bar. Probably not keen on a repeat of what happened the last time. He had to save a shot that spilled back into the area. And Chester have a corner. Lawler, the Darlington defender, advances just inside the Chester half. Plays one out to the right looking for Rivers. He manages to nod it back a little to take a bit of the pace off it because he wouldn't have got to that if it had gone over his head. But the loose ball's collected. It's running loose again. Hatfield charging it down, the ball runs loose to Mondal. Mondal under pressure from Grand. And why not? Three Darlington players stood over the ball at the moment. It's about, I'd say maybe just somewhere between 20, 25 yards out. We've got Lambert, Hatfield, Rose all stood around it. It's Chester build their wall. Nobody really positioning themselves for a run up. Rose and Hatfield work it between them and Hatfield does take the shot but no real power on it and it rolls all the way through to Stanway but Hatfield just sort of rolling it forward to Rose who put his foot on it and then Hatfield had a little bit of a run up and would have wanted better from that I expect not the best clearance from Stanway Smith gets up into the air and wins that ahead of Apter but the ball comes forward again Roach has a bit of space on the right hand side now Smith's a bit out of position but Rose has gone over to cover Roach gets the cross in anyway and Dakers heads just over Taylor collects that aimless long ball through and rolls it out to Smith and Darlington will look to try and finish the half on top Smith dinks one over the top it's looking for ball. Mondal and Cassidy Cassidy's brought it down Henry. he gets caught by Stanway the referee says no and Stanway emerges with the ball anyway I'm not too sure he did there you know certainly a decent shout Worth seeing again if it's in the highlights. Chester wanted offside, Darlington wanted a penalty. Nobody got what they were after, but Stanway came away with the ball. Lambert having his shirt pulled again by um, Roberts there. He's already had a yellow card for that. Gets away with it this time. And this is ball a little loose, but he manages to clear it, slips over in the process. Ball runs loose behind Cassidy. Get in the middle, get in, get in. Lambert across for Mondal. Mondal gets to it first. Just gets it over the bar. But good ball in that from Lambert. And Mondal came racing and got to it ahead of Simon Grand. And yeah, there does seem to be a little bit of commotion over on the other opposite side of the pitch. Wonder what's going on over there. But we shall concentrate on what's going on right in front of us for now. We get underway again. Lawler and Dacker's battling for that one. The ball drops loose to Lambert just outside the centre circle. He turns and comes racing forward. Makes it to the edge of the area tries to lay it for Smith who'd gone running on past him but clearance only lands as far as Rose Lambert's come back to collect the pass from Rose who gives it back to and gives it back to Danny Rose Rose to Hatfield Hatfield to Ellis Ellis to Headley as Darlington switch sides Headley back to Headley to Rivers who gives it back and then Mondal brings that down really well turns and looks to cut inside now Grand's gone with him, so Mondal lays it off to Hatfield. He goes back to Rose, Darlington keeping the ball just on the edge of the centre circle. 
pinged into Lambert, bit of a uh, bit of pace on that one, but Lambert's brought another control, managed to turn, played a good ball out to the right hand side for Rivers. Inside the area, Rivers turns, shoots wide. But good work by Darling, keeping the ball, moving it around. Looks like it's going to be Lambert. Dinks one to the edge of the area where Cassidy will bring it down but can't quite lay it off for Hatfield. I think you could see what he was trying to do. It didn't quite come off. Rose gets in and charges that straight down though and the ball drops loose to Rivers. Rivers dinks one out to the left-hand side for Lambert. A feels for offside, not given. Lambert has a chance to fashion across here. Does he get away from Williams? Gets to the byline, pings one across and Stanway has to get a hand on that. Yeah, well, hopefully they, hopefully they can maintain it throughout the half. Not give them any chance to breathe and just constantly keep the pressure on. Corner Darlington on our right hand side, taken by Danny Rose. Lawler just couldn't, just Lawler just went to head that ball and it just went straight over the top of him, just about. And, but Darlington keep the ball and try, can try again. Cross comes in. Lawler's got to it this time. Can't get the direction on it. Hatfield's managed to keep hold of it. Ellis is there, still on the edge of the area. And eventually Chester do managed to get it clear. Rose plays it sideways to Ellis. Ellis pings one up looking for Cassidy. Nodded away by Williams, but Lambert might get to that first, will he? Not quite. Crossfield coming back to cover. Lambert with the ball now for Darling. No one plays it to Rivers on the edge of the area. He has a shot that's just spilled wide. Stanway looked to have lost his footing as he went to watch that one, but it was always bending wide of his goal. Yeah, nearly rolled it in the bottom corner, but like you see, I think it's just spinning away just a bit too much. We've had the lesson in the first half, of course, all of the advantage, none of the chances, and then when one breaks at the other end, we found ourselves behind for a few minutes, but let's see if the Quakers can capitalise on this as Mondal brings it down and plays one out to the left-hand side for Lambert. Lambert comes charging towards the edge of the area, dinks one out to the left, yeah. and we have yeah. ourselves the lead! Oh, get in! The Quakers lead! Lambert laid it in to the left hand side and Darling have the lead and it's George Smith they are like buses you wait four and a half games for one and then you get two in one game Junior Mondale back on the score sheet for Darlington and for the first time this season George Smith on the score sheet for Darlington great finish after being laid in by Lambert Darlington 2, Chester 1 the Quakers lead and you can't say on the balance of the first 12 minutes that they don't deserve it good play by Jack as well just holding up his mm. mind just waiting for George to get around him and then he's laid it off to him down the side of the channel and just George just absolutely whacked it in the far post great goal with him Lambert loses out this time Manchester can come again with Horsfield. The goal scorer Smith just keeping him under pressure. And Darlington winning the ball back. Ball's a little loose, but Ellis gets there first. Rivers can't get to the clearance though. Simmons can turn under pressure from Hatfield. Hatfield gets a foot in though. Cassidy gets the ball now. Lays it back to Headley. Quakers winning back possession. Headley with another great ping diagonal out to the left hand side for Lambert. He'll come forward again. Gets away from Roberts. Twisting, turning, trying to fashion something. He's managed to get the ball to Cassidy. He's had a shot which has been saved, but the offside flag's gone up anyway. Two sides who don't really want to keep possession at the moment. They just seem to be giving the ball away to each other. And as I say that, Ben Headley gets the ball ahead of Simmons. Breaks into the centre circle, plays it out to Lambert. Now Lambert bringing it forward for Darlington. As they come in search of a third and a bit of daylight, Lambert with the shot. Dinked over the... Just caught a deflection off a Chester player, that shot from Jack Lambert, and it looked for all the world like it was going to drop into the net. Doesn't quite. Darlington corner. As George Waring enters the fray to replace Rowan Roach in the last of Chester's substitutions. Stanway clears it up. Alice battling for Danny the ball. Again, very well. well done, Winning lad. it again. Rivers trying to play it through for Mondal. And 
very nearly getting away with that one. Grand cutting it out at the last second. Fitzpatrick takes one into the middle. Nodded away by, not nodded away in the end, chested away by Lawler. Lands with Dakers again, though, under pressure from Rose. Dakers turns, has a shot, hits Lawler. Ball runs loose to Weeks on the edge of the area. He rides one tackle but can't get away from Hatfield. Played forward again, Dakers on the edge of the area. Turns it out to the right-hand side. Dinked over the top, Simmons will collect that one. Gets past Headley, gets to the byline, has a shot. Taylor saves. Fitzpatrick turns it back to Weeks. Just a bit of pressure this from the visitors. Weeks on the edge of the area. He's got Hatfield and Rose in front of him. And in the end, he has to go all the way back. Didn't quite see, didn't quite see who that was, unfortunately. But uh, Chester had the ball anyway. We're coming forward with Fitzpatrick. Played out to the left-hand side for Simmons. Headley's out there with him. He gets past Headley and makes for the byline. Gets it to the area. And well, eventually, yes. between Headley and Rivers, they get it cleared. Themselves up a little bit more towards this. There's uh, always in a game like this, when there's only a goal in it, there will yeah. be a period of pressure from the side that's chasing it. Just got to ride that out, have we? Taylor just plucking that one out from under his own crossbar, as I say that. Played across to the left-hand side. Simmons makes himself available. But Headley straight in behind him, and then Lambert <laughs> nudges him down. And Off to the gym, you go, the Simmons. Away. See you later. <laughs> Perver now the furthest man forward for Darling lays it out to Headley keeps going Lambert's gone on ahead now no real options in the box now Cassidy's there but Lambert's got the ball on the edge of the area he turns tries to ping the ball out to the right hand side that's going to be a corner for Darling is it yes chance to use it for a few more seconds yep. Danny Rose jogging over to deliver oh it feels like you could use one more in a situation like this yeah just to difficult it, balancing yeah. act defending a one goal lead but these ones are the, the most rewarding as well when mm. you grind it out Delivery by Rose, lands in the area. Oh. Turns, Cassidy turns, shoots on the turn, it's blocked. Chester can bring it away. We have four more minutes. It's probably now or never for Chester if they are going to get an equaliser. Maring turns, gets charged down, three Darlow players around him and Darling coming away with the ball. Played out to the left hand side, but it's too heavy, but the final whistle goes anyway. The Quakers have won. Early advantage in the first half, not taken, and Marcus Duck has punished the Quakers by following in a shot from Tom, saved by Tommy Taylor after 17 minutes. Five minutes later, Junior Mondal recalled from his loan spell at Mask, doing exactly the job we, said we called him back to do, netting the equaliser and going on to win man of the match. And then George Smith, just before the hour, scoring what has proved to be the winner. Darlington have scored for the first time in five games. Darlington have won for the first time in five games. It finishes here, Darlington 2, Chester 1. And for Chester, it's a fourth consecutive away defeat. Sum that one up for us. Needed. <laughs> no, great, great result. Hard victory, grinded it out, tough conditions. Just must be pleasing for the, pleased for the boys. Like, I'm pleased for the boys. Like It's unbelievable. Like They've, they've needed it and they yeah. deserved it as well today. So as long as he's been rewarded. Much improved performance all round really, wasn't it? Because the last four games, there hasn't been an awful lot to write home about, you know. We haven't scored in any of them. We've lost.